Hello my alien students, welcome back. Hope everyone is doing good. So today we're going to do something very, very beautiful. Okay, our end of the day project will look something like this. We're going to do this from where? From a scratch screen. Okay, from a scratch project. Okay, this is our end result. Okay, so sit back. This is going to be the trailer of the movie. They're going to do the whole project. MEP and plumbing. Complete. Uh, sorry, mechanical and plumbing. Okay, electrical will not be doing. Okay. So this will be our end result, isn't it? Everything from, let's say, the air terminals here, okay? And then the VAVs and whatever, isn't it? Everything, we're gonna start duct work, everything, okay? I'm gonna explain you what does what each mean, okay? What does the, okay, let's start a blank screen and then I'll explain everything, okay? So, see, listen. So first thing, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna click new, isn't it? We're gonna create a new project. We're going to click system default metric. Why system default metric? Can anyone tell me? Why system? Why not the other? So many options are there. Why is John selecting system default metric? Okay, I want you to give me the answer in the comment section. Why? Actually, I've given this answers many times. Okay, in a couple of, if you just have a look at my previous videos, you would be seeing this answer. Okay, so I'd like you to either go to the previous videos and see or just, you know, try and tell me what's the answer. Okay. Okay, and then we wait for uh, my friend, let's say, Rivet to upgrade. Okay, I believe my templates are saved to 2018. So, you know, upgrading uh, story. Okay. From there, we're going to link the architectural file. Okay, that's from here. Okay, so we are not anymore architect. We are the system people. Okay, what's just one random question. Okay, what does this mean? You need to understand the meaning of project browser. Okay, so when you think about project browser, what comes in your mind? What's project browser? Okay, properties palette, as I told you before, is an in a selected object. You would know this history of it. the history in the sense. Let's suppose I just created a duct. Okay, this is called the bad practice, isn't it? Drawing a duct in uh, floor plans. But anyway, I want to explain you something called as project browser, isn't this? Is a duct which I've created. Okay. So my question is, uh, yeah, what is properties palette first? Okay, if I get, let's say, ex accidentally close this, I do get a full uh, screen, isn't it? Full real estate, that is good, isn't it? I'm not victimized for no space, isn't it? But how do I get it back? John does something and it comes back like this, isn't it? Or if it is my friend, so it comes back. Okay, I want you to give me the answer in the comment section. Okay, so just one more tr hint here, trick here. What's this guy called? What's this guy called? And what's this part of the section called? Okay, this guy is called instance properties. Okay, instance. Why? The selected object, instance. Okay, this guy is called type a selector. Okay, if I change the type, I, isn't it? It's called type selector. And this guy, okay, if I select this, okay, what's this guy called? Type properties. Okay, so these are the three parts of the uh, properties palette. Okay, and project browser is list of views. Okay, what's the meaning of project browser? List of all the views in a Revit. Okay, any comments? Okay, so just remember, okay, this guy is called what? Discipline. This guy is called a sub discipline, and they are called views, isn't it? Related to it. Okay, just one random question What all objects do we put in floor plan, and what all objects do we put in the ceiling plan? I want you to tell me the answer in the comment section. Okay, so let's consider this part one. In the next part, we will be linking. The architectural file, isn't it? Rivet link uh, linking the architectural file. Another story. What's the difference between managing and you know? I can go to manage link and click add, and I can link it. Okay. And the other way is link add. Why do you think Rivet has provided these three options? And you know, John does one more method coming from here, isn't it? I want you to tell me in the comments section. Anyway, this is the trailer of the movie. We're going to come back and finish this project. We're going to do this project from scratch. Sit back, enjoy, and I think that's it for today, isn't it? Take care, and we see each other in the next class. Yalla, bye.